Retro Rewind. Retro Rewind. One on one. One on one. Hey, this is Joey McIntyre. Thanks for logging on to RetroRewind.com. Visit Retro Rewind's website at www.retrorewind.com. RetroRewind.com. You know, uh, it, it's a great song with a lot of energy, and I think it's going to, uh, I think it's already started grabbing a mm-hmm. lot of uh, attention, and I think and a lot of programmers as well. Yeah, and, it's, and, it's, and the thing is, Radio. I'm doing this independently yeah. uh, with a lot of help, and there's a plan, but I can go at my own pace. You know, it's, it's not about, you know, this first week. There's a lot of great artists out there that, like, they have a so-so first week, and that's the end of their record. You right, know what I mean? Right. And it's a shame. Yeah, you know, it's a yeah. real shame. And I know that, you know, people's attention spans get smaller and smaller because yeah. there's so much out there. Yeah. But you know, I believe that you know this music will speak for itself, and you just keep doing the footwork. You know, and you keep sharing it, and it's going to get out there. You know, anything about that tune that you can tell us, the writing of it? Uh, did, did well, you the, just start it's, it out? it's yeah. I mean, it, it's it's basically. You know, uh, I guess I guess you could say, you know, just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Yeah. You know, that just just when I thought I might have, you know, been taking it easy and you know <laughs> doing my standards record and and yeah. and hanging out, yeah. you know, this whole new wave, you know, of of music and 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 energy and performance comes along, you know, mainly in the form of New Kids on the Block and yeah. and our amazing fans and yeah. so. Um, you know that that's that's what pulled me back in. You know that's the 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 you know that energy, and it's a it's an ongoing fight. You know that, and that's why the video is has that you know that theme of of getting in the ring and going for it yeah. and and being able to take a few punches, but yeah. but but coming back and yeah. because it's it's a tough business. I mean, every business is tough. Whether you're digging ditches or answering phones or on set, you can't really complain about show business, but it does. You know, have its ups and downs, and it's you know, it's very uh, foggy at times, and very um, you, you don't, you can't really, it's not cut and dry, you know. So you really got to roll with it, and yeah. that's basically what the song is. Regardless of all that stuff, you know, I still want to get up and and take a swing at it and go for it, and that's you know, and 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 that song, it it you know, it pumps me up, you know, and yeah. and, and I love hearing people saying that it pumps them up and gets them going, because that's what you know, this music is all about. You know, one of the songs that does that for me, as you know, is uh, is Big Time. And I think that could be a a hit song uh-huh. no matter who it is. Who's singing you it? You know what I'm saying, bro? Uh, despite me, it's going to no, be No, not despite you, bro. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's a well-written tune. Now, here's what's going to happen. You know this. Uh, they're going to want to know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> now, and what I told my wife, because she's like asking, and you know, I'm like, you know, this has a couple other writers too. Maybe it's one of the other guys talking. No, nah, no, nah, I kind of, you know, the cool thing is, <laughs> you know, for, for me, you know, the writers on this album, the, the three other guys and, you know, the producers, they, they were great. I mean, they knew this was my album and they, they, they deferred to me when it yeah. came to the message. Sure. You know what I mean? And if I didn't buy it or I didn't feel it, you know, we wouldn't write it. And, um, you know, some days I was driving it with the lyrics or the ideas, and some days, you know, I wasn't. You know, I was just there with the message. Or, uh, but I worked with three great, talented guys, Drew Ryan Scott, uh, Gabe Lopez, and, and sort of the main main guy was uh, Brent Paschke. And uh, it was great. So as far as the message and what it is, it's, it's about me, you know. Um, I just have a, a thing about... Uh, you know, it could be the greatest song in the world, but if it doesn't feel right to me, uh, it's just uh, I'm not going to do it, pretty much. Yeah. Um, so, big time is basically, you know, you talk about it's about someone who who's blowing up and and thinks yeah. he's he, he's he's the man and uh, he's the what? Yeah. <laughs> I I changed that to legit, by the way. Oh, you I, do? Yeah, yeah. I changed oh, it to legit. That was the only of, song yeah. I was letting my kids get away with. Oh, sorry. Because I'm like, it's art. If yeah, you if yeah, you yeah. sing the lyrics, <laughs> yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Really. Um, yeah, I just thought it was easier. It's, it's not. Okay. It sounds good saying you legit. You guys can figure yeah, out what we yeah. mean. Rhyme award was legit. You got one hit record and you think you're legit. You got 15 minutes and you think this is it. This bass is the lyric and it's. Yeah. That's uh. It could be about me. You know what I mean? It could be. It could be about you know my big head, it's but not, not about really. You, bro. But um. 
That's more than 15 minutes but right it's there. But also, it's also the thing about, you know, being in this business as long as I have and being to the mountaintop, you know, a few times and, and, and coming back down and having normal life and, and the ups and downs and all that is you see people, the people that get out of hand are the ones that are just yeah. having the fame. Yeah. And just having a little bit of it. Yeah. And... Yeah, it goes to their head, or they can't handle it, right. and it doesn't make them bad people. It's just that they don't know how to handle it. And and I've been there. I've 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 felt that before, and um, you know it's uh, you know it's 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 something that you know happens a lot. You know people people get a little taste, and it goes to their head, and they lose themselves. And it's really a song about. You know, friends, you know, having friends and having friends that stick with you, you know, stick by you yeah. and are going to be there. It's like, hey, dude, I know I know you're going through some stuff and you're kind of blowing it on the on the friend side, but I'll be around when when you come back down, you know, and that's that's what that's about. You know, another great song on, on this album uh, that I heard a little rumor, maybe a little bird told me that uh, you wrote a song for your son. Yeah. And listening to the album, the only one I could really figure that would be appropriate would be the yeah. difference. Yeah, and uh, such a great song. Am yeah. I right? Is that? Yeah, yeah. Well, that that song I wrote right right in my house, and I was on the piano, and I was taking some piano lessons, and the uh, my teacher was like, "Just write some stuff on the white keys. You the white keys, yeah. which is pretty easy." Yeah. I mean, I guess it's you know it should be pretty easy, and I was just you know I was playing along. So I had written I've written a ton of ton of songs, but. Um, you know, it was the first time that I let, I wrote some stuff on the guitar and that kind of in influenced me, but it was the first time I was on the piano and kind of let the chords, you know, lead initiate you. Yeah. And, and lead me yeah. uh, with the melody and yeah. the lyrics. And and it was fun and it was great. And I'm just sitting there and, you know, I got this baby and this beautiful home and beautiful family and... Um, it was cool. I mean, it's it's a sweet song. It it's is. a very sweet song. It's a simple song. You know, it's it's the the metaphors are pretty simple, yeah. but I loved it. You yeah, know, yeah, and it's and it's a ballad, and it, and it's sort of it's it, it's sort of a throwback to you know what I've always done. You know, I've been a little bit of a, a, a balladeer throughout my career, and even on my solo stuff. So. To me, it was nice, and and it's the the version that we have is just very broken down. I love, you know, we tried it different ways. I mean, this album is is definitely hard driving and 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 raw. And then we get to this ballad, yeah. And we were sitting there, the four of us, and going, well, how are we going to work this, and how is this going to fit on the album? And instead of trying to make it sound like the other ones, we went totally the opposite way, yeah. Which is perfect, yeah. You know, yeah. and. It's got a great string arrangement that Gabe Lopez did, and it's just really simple and broken down, and and uh, it's about the vocal, you know, it's about the vocal, and which you nailed. <laughs> well, thanks, man. Yeah. I, I, it's 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 easy when you, you know, singing about stuff that's that's pretty pretty yeah, yeah, yeah close well, to home. Yeah, beautiful song. Thanks. And it's gonna, I'm sure, stand out as a favorite. Yeah. Um, I want some weddings on that one. I want that to be a, a wedding, wedding song. Uh, that, that Retro happen. rewind. Visit Retro Rewind's website at www.retrorewind.com. RetroRewind.com. Listen to past shows and find lots of information on your favorite artists of the 80s and 90s.